Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kuro. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a beginner's guide to quick play and hunt showdowns and how we've played correctly can massively increase your skill level in all aspects of the game. So we'll be, co we'll be covering everything from benefits of quick play, starting off, and how you should play this game mode. So uh, yeah, let's uh, jump on into today's video. So why should you play quick play? So I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, uh, why should I even play quick play to get better at the game as it's just a fast paced PVP game mode? And you're right. However, quick play is a solo game mode which allows you to not only focus on yourself and no one else, but also to focus on your play style and how you like to play certain fights and scenarios. So I want to touch on a few key aspects of quick play that make it perfect for not only new players, but also for long time players looking to improve. Now new players will gain access to all, um, all kinds of weapons that may they may not have unlocked yet in Bounty Hunt, allowing them to also get a much better feel for the game and maybe even to perfect their loadouts, while also gaining a wide knowledge of maps and their surroundings. I think the great thing about quick play is even if you've been playing this game for a while, there are still skills you can perfect within quick play, like game mechanics, overall awareness, and by that I mean knowing where an enemy player is just by the sounds you're hearing, and and also map knowledge, like knowing every compound inside and, inside and out will give you a huge advantage when it comes to hunt, as the majority of the fighting happens inside. A few more things I think everyone can benefit from learning in quick play would be um, player positioning and rotations, uh, decision making as in uh, knowing when to push and when to back off. Also uh, focusing on the PVP, so as in learning from every fight, every mistake and applying that to the next game. Alrighty guys, before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. If we can get 20 likes on this video, it would be awesome. Alrighty, so let's talk about how to play. So first off, let's talk about your loadout. You will get four choices of loadouts, random, pistols, shotguns, and melee. Now personally I'd stay clear from the random and melee options as it puts you at a serious disadvantage early game as chances of a fight off spawn are pretty high and you all know what they say about bringing a knife to a gunfight. Next, you want to select the hunter, pick the darkest overall hunter you have as wearing colourful clothes will chances are get you spotted quite easily. So your main goal from spawn is to locate and find weapons, tools and consumables which will be located all around the map atop blue boxes. Now I want to quickly touch on the fact that your playstyle will be changing all the time and by that I mean the fact that you can't play the same with a shotgun as you can play with a sniper so you'll need to be flexible when it comes to how you play. After that you want to find clues. Now clues give you traits and there is one trait per clue with four clues being in the game. You'll want to keep an eye on what traits you have as you can mold your loadout by the traits you have. Personally, I'd, I'd look out for Fanning and Quartermaster. Now, first thing I always look for is Vitality Shots, as you'll get into a lot of fights and will most likely run out of your first aid kits pretty fast, so the extra health is always good to keep around. Next, you want to keep an eye out for traps, sp uh, specifically the Poison Traps, Concertina Traps, and the Concertina Bombs, as these will come in handy later on when you become the Wellspring. Uh, when it comes to weapons, I would say stick with what you're good at, however that isn't the case in quick play as shotguns have quickly become the meta in this game mode. Now I'm not trying to say that you can't use anything else, but I would typically avoid anything with a scope as most of your fights will be co uh, close quarters. My go-to would be pistols, shotguns, or a rifle without a scope, but again, the choice is yours. So let's take a look at what happens when you become the Wellspring. Now be prepared because once you become the Wellspring, every hunter will be gunning for you. It's best to stay inside a compound and fortifying using the traps I mentioned before. Now traps are super useful in this situation as they can be doubled up. Use the uh, poison traps with the concertina traps, which in most cases will kill an enemy hunter in one go. Also shotguns play a huge part in the end game as what better way to hold a compound than sitting in a corner with a 12 gauge waiting to blow someone to smithereens. However, if you're not the first hunter to activate all the clues, it is now your job to locate and kill the Wellspring, as there are no extractions in this game mode, so it's either kill or be killed, as if you fail to become the Wellspring in time, it's game over. Now where you will learn the most is the end game. Whether you're trying to become the Wellspring or fending off hunters as the Wellspring, this is when the PvP action is at its peak, you'll have to be cool, calm and collective to take on other hunters, break into compounds for the kill, or just being aware of other players around the compound. You just kind of have to find out what works and doesn't work for you. Alrighty guys, let's do a short recap of everything we've talked about in this video. So focus on all the tips we outlined at the start of the video, even if you, even if you have to do one at a time, it's perfectly fine. Just make sure you choose the darkest overall hunter and forget about choosing the random or melee option before jumping into a game. Shotguns are the meta, so if you can't beat them, join them. I'd stick to shotguns and pistols for the most part. Be patient. Now this is a crucial one. Room wasn't built in a day, so don't get angry or upset if you're if you're making silly mistakes. Just try and improve on those mistakes and you'll be fine. 
And last but not least, just have fun. After all, there's nothing to lose in this game mode, so mess around, have a laugh, and yeah, have fun. Alrighty, so I just want to thank you all for watching. I hope you'll give a quick play a go after watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Uh, be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.